Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about fluorescence and phosphorescence, one of the very important topic related to scattering spectroscopy. It is very important topic for semester exam point of view as well as very important for uh, any exam point of view. So, uh, in this particular video, we are going to discuss uh, its principle, its basic introduction and the factors affect the fluorescence and phosphorescence. So before the discuss about the principle of it, we have to know how fluorescence and phosphorescence occur and, um, and what is the basic information or basic def definition of fluorescence and phosphorescence. So uh, first point is light matter interaction. When light or we use electromagnetic radiations and matter or sample interact. So three kind of phenomena has happened in my previous video i've also discussed about this so basically these are the uh, sample so when electromagnetic radiations are light strike on sample three kind of phenomena has happened first is some amount of light absorbed by uh, sample and some amount of light uh, transmitted through the sample and some amount of light is scattered in different angle okay so when light matter interaction so when scattering is happen when scattering is happen so two kind of scattering is uh, happen first is elastic scattering second is inelastic scattering it's also called Rayleigh scattering and Raman scattering so uh, when we are going to uh, define the elastic uh, elastic uh, scattering so the definition of elastic scattering is elastic scattering occur when there is no loss of energy of the incident primary electron elastically scattered electron can always uh, die, uh, can change always direction but do not change their wavelength so this is the definition of elastic or relay scattering so basically when we occur elastic scattering so there is uh when primary electron beam primary uh primary uh electron when incident primary electron when primary electron incident the sample then when uh, when we we not uh, we when we not change their wavelength of this scattering lights so this kind of scattered is called uh, elastic scattering and when we change the when uh, when we able to change the wavelength of scattering elastic in uh, scattering um, light so this when we change the wavelength of uh, this uh, scattering light so it's called in elastic scattering so these are the two types of scattering so uh, the basic information about this uh, the main topic is fluorescence, fluorescence and phosphorescence but we have to know the uh, two types of scattering like elastic and elastic so second phenomena is happen absorb absorption so when uh, when uh, sample absorb electromagnetic radiations are light or ultraviolet or visible spectrum so uh, when uh, when when sample absorb light and then it's emit five kind of light okay this five kind of light it's emit uh, first is photoluminescence uh, electroluminescence thermoluminescence uh, chemiluminescence and bioluminescence okay so when photoluminescence okay when photoluminescence happen it, uh, when we define the photoluminescence this is light emission from any form of matter after the absorption of photon it is one of the many form of luminescence okay so photoluminescence is two type fluoro uh, fluorescence and uh, phosphorescence okay these are the our basic uh, our important topic uh, we are going to discuss about the fluorescence and phosphorescence so this uh, type uh, so this this how we uh, get the fluorescence and phosphorescence now the basic principle of fluorescence and phosphorescence is many compound absorb ultraviolet or visible light and undergo electronic transition from low uh, electronic energy level to high electronic energy level this absorption of light require 10 to the power minus 15 second okay when uh, when some compound like we uh, use some compound it's absorb ultraviolet or visible light then it um that it came uh huh that it uh, that it uh that the compound is go to um like low energy level to high energy level okay high energy level this absorption of light is required okay this absorption of light is required 10 to the power minus 15 second 
after the in, uh, the instant reemission of absorbed energy is called fluorescence and wild delay reemission of the absorbed energy is called phosphorescence okay this two kind of uh, emission is happen when instant reemission so it's called fluorescence and delayed reemission is called phosphorescence these are the two phenomena we got these are the basic principle of fluorescence and phosphorescence and in this principle fluorescence and phosphorescence work now the uh, basic definition about fluorescence and phosphorescence is a process in which a part of energy ultraviolet or visible absorbed by a substance is released in the form of light as the stimulating radiation is continued the fluorescence emission took place from a single singlet excited state average lifetime from less than 10 to the power minus 10 to 10 to the power minus 7 second these are the basic information or basic definition of fluorescence and the basic uh, definition of phosphorescence is a process in which energy of light absorbed by a substance is released relatively slowly in the form of light the phosphorescence emission took place from a triplet ex uh, excited state average lifetime uh, from 10 to the power 15 to more than 10 to the power plus uh, 3 second okay uh, these are the basic uh, basic information or basic definition of fluorescence phosphorescence so uh, all over the time that we lifetime uh, average lifetime uh, of this fluorescence phenomena has happened so uh, the average lifetime uh, is uh, less than 10 to the power power uh, 10 to the power minus 10 to 10 to the power minus 7 second of uh, of all fluorescence like uh, when when happens the fluorescence when like it's re, uh, instant re emitted from the high ex, uh, for higher energy excited state um so it took time 10 to the power minus 10 to 10 to the power minus 7 seconds less than okay when you know uh, when uh, when uh, phosphorescence phenomena has happened so all over the average lifetime okay it's required av average lifetime is 10 to the power minus 15 to more than 10 to the power plus 3 second okay these are the very important points of fluorescence and phosphorescence now the important diagram ray diagram of the fluorescence and phosphorescence uh, is s1 and s uh, sorry s0 and s2 state so these are the energy when uh, when this compound is absorbed ultraviolet or visible uh, visible spectrum visible light then it um, like uh, this is a lower energy state and when uh, when is absorbed this light then it it go to uh, that that compound go to higher energy level okay then internal uh, internal conversions happen then it's re-emit instant re-emission is called fluorescence okay when inter-system crossing isc is happen then after some delayed re-emission of that light is called phosphorescence so this is the very important uh, ray diagram of fluorescence and phosphorescence and basic principle and basic information uh, now the important part of the topic is a uh, factor affecting fluorescence and phosphorescence it is also very important for our semester exam point of view as well as any exam uh, point of view so the first the fluorescence and phosphorescence depends on following factor first factor is fluorescence and phosphorescence depends on temperature and ph of the solution association dissociation of solute with solvent will affect the fluorescence and phosphorescence this is a uh, second important factor uh, third is molecules uh, with electron donating group like uh, hydroxy group and amine group are strongly fluorescent okay these are uh, these groups are electron donating groups like these are the example of that electron donated group are strongly fluorescent and for important factor is uh, electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group like um, uh, carboxylic acid group and it's uh, n double bond n and uh, like nitro compound and halides decrease fluorescence okay uh, fifth important point is some group like uh, minus nh4 ammonium uh, so3h sulfonic acid and alkyl group do not have any effect on the fluorescence and phosphorescence phenomena uh, sixth important factor is the introduction of an atom of higher atomic number into a pi electron system decrease fluorescence and increase phosphorescence 
so these are the some important factor that affect the fluorescence and phosphorescence um, so this is a complete discussion about fluorescence and phosphorescence important topic related to scattering spectroscopy and I so when you find that this video is helpful for your exam preparation and these notes are helpful for your uh, own notes making so please support like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching